Hi guys, this is Ramzes with you. We're about to release a new upgrade for the 757 series, which will include some new avionics. From now on, we are going to have several upgrade packages available for you. So I'm recording a little video to explain which packages do what, how to upgrade and where to buy. So here's a little diagram I drew of the options we have available now. We used to have the Boeing 757 Professional, which included the 200 option, the Boeing 757 Extended, which included the 200, 300 and the freighter fuselages, and then there was an option to upgrade from the regular to the extended by buying the Boeing 757 Pro Extended Upgrade. All three products were available on the org and included two engine types, the Pratt Whitney and Rolls-Royce. What we have added now is basically two more options. You can now buy the Boeing 757 with modern avionics, which will include both the original clock-like instruments and the modern EFIS glass cockpit instruments. And you can buy the Boeing 757 Global Package, which will include the old instruments, the new instruments, the 200, 300, freighter, and both engine types. So basically everything we have for the 757 product line. Now, for people who have already bought the regular or the extended and want to upgrade, here are the options available. So, from the regular version, you can extend to the extended by upgrading as it used to be and buying the Boeing 757 Extended Pro upgrade. If you want to get from your regular version to the Extended Avionics version, you can buy a product called Boeing 757 Pro Avionics Update, which, of course, in the sum will cost just like buying the 757 Model Avionics product. I want to emphasize that you can extend, you can upgrade from the regular version to both the avionics, the modern avionics option, and the extended with different fuselages separately. You don't have to do that together. Those are separate upgrades and you will have two different products. Now, if you don't want to buy the whole product from the beginning, you have options to up upgrade later. So if you have bought the 757 modern avionics without the extended, without the other fuselages, but on later they decided you want them, you can always buy Boeing 757 Pro Extended Upgrade, the same upgrade that you used to buy to extend from regular to the extended, and then you will get the global. And the same works the other way around. If you have already the 757 Extended, while you have bought it as a product or you have extended, upgraded to it from the original, you can upgrade it again to the full, to the global package by buying the 757 Pro Avionics Upgrade. So we have made this completely separate. You can upgrade each way you like, so it's more convenient and each upgrade costs the same. So if you want to buy the whole product from the beginning or just the, the, the simplest one and then uh, you know upgrade from each way you want, in the end, you'll end up paying the same price. So there is no, there is no benefit from buying anything a specific way. All options are available. So if you only want the avionics, you only want the extended, or you only want the regular plane, you can buy any of them separately and upgrade later. All right, so I know that buying on the work might be confusing sometimes. So I'm going to show you the page, how it's going to look. So don't mind the prices at the moment. I think they are a little bit wrong. Uh, because the pages are not done, they're not for sale yet. So we have the regular product for the $72 called Boeing 757 version 2 Professional. We have the 757 version 2 Professional Extended, which includes all the fuselages. We have Boeing 757 version 2 Professional Modern Avionics for the same price as the Extended, which does not include the Extended, but includes two avionics types. And we have the Global Package which includes everything. Now, besides those four options, you can, you can see the extended upgrade and the avionics upgrade, both of which you can buy, as I said, 
having any of the products, so you don't have to buy them in specific order. An important change we have now, when you buy the upgrades, you will no longer be getting any files at all. So what happens, you, you have a version, let's say you have the basic product sold here, and then you buy the extended upgrade. So we used to send you, the org used to send you a whole package containing three ACF files. This will no longer work this way. What will happen is, once you have bought one of the upgrades, this upgrade or this upgrade, you will be added to the upgrade list. And in about five minutes, you will be able to use the updater available for any of our products located in the main folder with the plane. There is a Java application called the updater, which you probably use to update your plane. So you can use that application just as you do in any update to get your upgraded version. So what happens is you have a version, let's say 757 Professional, you go online, you buy the upgrade for the extended, you don't get any files, you simply go to your folder, you use your updater as you would for any regular update, and the updater will already know in about five minutes that you have upgraded and will send you the new files. And the same will work with, with the other update. So you might have already bought the, let's say, Boeing 757 version 2 extended, and then you want to upgrade to the modern buildings, you buy this, this product, you simply don't get any files, you use your old key, you press uh, enter on the updater, and you will get the global package. Everything will be updated automatically. So the only thing I want to add is that if you have the regular package and you want to upgrade to the global, so you want to have both the new avionics and the all the available fuselages, what you need to do is you need to buy both upgrades. So you buy this upgrade, you buy this upgrade, and then use the updater to get the global package automatically into your folder. So there's no need anymore to delete the old plane and to install basically a new plane when you upgrade. Everything is, will be done automatically for you by the update. Okay, so before we say goodbye, I just want to show you how, how you can switch the avionics on. So I'm sitting in the cockpit of 757 here. Um, I'm going to use the iPad and you can go to Options, Avionics, and then on the top we have the FS type. So now it's all, it says Regional and you can see that we have the Regional Avionics here. And here we have the Flat Panel Display System Upgrade. So we push that and the displays have changed. So if, 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 if the package you have includes the uh, modern avionics, the FPDS upgrade, uh, you will simply have an option here, uh, which will allow you to switch, and it will switch all the displays, get rid of the old clock displays, uh, clock instruments, uh, give you the new panel, and all the new options here, which you can explore uh, in the manual available in Docs folder. So there's a bunch of new things here, uh, takeoff upper approach, references, uh, uh, different types of uh, of uh, minimums uh, and so on so please read the manual and enjoy your plane all right this was from this i hope this video is helpful i'm sorry for making it more confusing to buy the model but this was the only way we found uh to make all options available for you all right thanks again and cheers